Hi everyone, today I thought we'd take a few moments to chat about vitamin D. So vitamin D, we all know the importance of it. We all know where it comes from, so predominantly from sunlight. So we need to absorb sunlight, it helps us produce vitamin D within the body. Now what I want to talk about is vitamin D's relationship with calcium. Really important that, that those two are triggered together, particularly in women. So vitamin D levels and calcium levels are highly related. If your vitamin D isn't high enough, you can't absorb calcium. If you can't absorb calcium, then you're at a higher risk, particularly women, of uh, progressing into osteoporosis, so bristle bones and all sorts of aches and pains and the indications that come with later on in life. So that's an important balance. It's also an important balance for weight loss as well. If we have sufficient levels of calcium within our body, our body actually absorbs less fat, so less fat and stores less fat. And again, those levels are, are determined by that vitamin D and calcium balance. Now, vitamin D... The problem that we have, particularly in our country, if we're in a country of low sunlight, we don't absorb it enough. And then added to that, we've become a country that's really obsessed with sun creams and putting on lots and lots of layers of sun creams. Now, it is important that you don't burn in the sun. That's, that is something to bear in mind. But studies have been shown recently that actually show that getting out in the sunlight for a brief period of time and make sure you don't wear sun cream actually protect yourself against skin cancer more than the creams that we put on. And actually a lot of the creams that we put on to protect us against sunlight, not only have a detrimental effect to us absorbing vitamin D, but are also linked to illnesses, skin ailments, and even cancers. So what we want to do is make sure we're absorbing enough vitamin D. And we wanted to do that is get out in the sunlight. Now the problem that we have, particularly in England, is that when it's sunny, Instead of just getting out and milling about and having a bit of time in the sun, we go and sunbathe. We go and sit there, endure it for 9, 10, 11 hours, and then we burn. And that's the bad thing to do. So it's much better to really not wear any sun cream, get out in the sun, but just not spend as long a periods of time in it. Get out in it for a bit, mill about, play with the kids, do some exercise out there, get back inside, make sure you're not spending prolonged periods of time in the sun, but more flashes of time in the sun. It's going to build up your pigment within your skin. It's going to protect against skin cancer. And it's also going to raise your levels of vitamin D, which is so important to so many aspects of your body. But in particular, that relationship with calcium. So get out in the sun, enjoy it, but be careful. You know that you shouldn't be spending too long out in the sun, but also try and avoid using too many sun creams. Let your body absorb that sunlight, enjoy it, and increase those vitamin D levels.